guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video as you guys can see from the title I'm gonna be flashing the latest Android 10 based pixel experience ROM on this device so let's begin so what files do you need if you ask me first of all you will be needing an unlocked bootloader on this device then you need the Peter C WRP recovery if you have no idea what I am talking about here is a card and you can follow that video how to flash the Peter C WRP recovery and you have to be on the latest firmware so all the links for those will be linked in the description box below so don't worry so do make sure you watch that video to flash the Peter C WRP recovery and to be on the latest firmware so after you have done that and you can like flash this ROM on two types of storages if you have an encrypted or decrypted storage. Method 1 if you have an encrypted storage and I am guessing your TWRP of course asks password or pin. In that case you just flash the ROM file and reboot because the pixel experience does not need any gapps. It includes the gapps on the zip file itself. But if you are decrypted and your TWRP does not ask for password in this case what you need to do well i am here decrypted over here my twrp recovery does not ask for password so what do i do here let me show you in this video now let me tell you which rom i am on currently right now so as you can see i am currently on the aosip dirt fist the like latest build over here this is the end of life build 9th september 2019 so i'll be flashing from this rom to the pixel experience android 10 based rom so here as you can see I have downloaded this pixel experience violet 10.0 then 18th September 2019 build this is a beta official build over here let's hit ok it's above 1 GB because it includes the G apps and stuff and over here this is the firmware well I am already on the firmware like latest firmware so I'm not gonna flash it but if you are like flashing this ROM and if you're not on the latest firmware just make sure you're flashing this latest firmware then flashing the ROM and if you're decrypted then flashing this fcrypt disabler and if you're not then you do not need this fcrypt disabler so currently let's just reboot to recovery now and again you need Peter's recovery I'm reminding you one more time and before you go to the recovery and stuff make sure you have everything backed up if in case something goes wrong so here I have successfully booted into the Peter Stuttle Web Recovery 3310 version. Now first of all may again make sure you have backup like of everything on your PC or somewhere else. Now let's go to wipe. Now advanced wipe. Now we will wipe Dalby cache system and data. Now wipe these four things. Now go home. Go to install. Then select this pixel experience 10.0 ROM file of course. Then add more zip and fcrypt disabler I am choosing here because I am decrypted again. If you are not decrypted and your TWRP asks password you do not need this fcrypt disabler zip. You just simply flash this like full ROM file. I have selected that like reboot automatically so it's like rebooting automatically but you can reboot manually too. So here we have this like logo of Android 10 if you have seen it earlier you will notice and we are like into the boot animation so let's wait. So we are into the setup process so let me set up the ROM quickly. So it did take a lot of time after connecting to the Wi-Fi it was stuck at that like checking for updates logo so let me like continue with the setup. So now let's set up the fingerprint scanner or the fingerprint unlock. So yeah, as you can see, the fingerprint is setting up fine. We will see how it unlocks. So here we are greeted with the home screen and it changed my wallpaper because I am restoring the Google app data backup. But let me show you quickly if I go to the wallpaper section. And on device wallpaper this is the like stock wallpaper over here which is the pixel experience default wallpaper and you get bunch of stuff like these as you can see so that's how it is with the wallpapers and you also have these like live wallpapers and stuff if you are into these stuff so these options are there too let me go back now let's quickly jump into the settings and show you guys the about section first and by the way this is how the settings panel looks like to the top right you will see this like the your profile stuff over here and then we have the search option over here of course this is the normal search option from android pi then if you go into the about phone 
and Android version shows Android 10. Let me tap on it multiple times and here we go with the Android 10. It's like pretty good that we already have a Android 10 ROM on top of the Pixel experience on the Redmi Note 7 Pro or for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Huge thanks to the developers and the security patch is latest September 5th, 2019. Then the Google Play system updates is 10. Then the stock kernel version is Pixel Plus. Here is the build number. Let me go back and let's go to system then advanced. So here we also have the system updater over here. You can check for updates whenever a new build comes as this is the first beta of the Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 10. Now let me check the gestures as we have the audio kind of gestures over here. Let's go into gestures then this system navigation or something then we have the two button or the android pie kind of gesture over here then we have the android q or android 10 based gestures so let's see how it works did work quite well i would say look at the animation seems pretty good let's open the settings again and make sure you have this like auto rotate disabled if you have this auto rotate enabled you will see kind of half screen bug yes that bug is there but that's how it is let me open the app drawer and let's open the camera app first and see what camera app we have i think it's snapdragon camera and as you can see this is how it looks like the permissions and stuff this time in android 10 let's allow all the time let's go next yeah this is the basic snapdragon camera and it works it should work fine as you can see takes quite basic pictures no issues whatsoever with that now let's see the torch yes the torch is working let's go into settings i'll test this rom thoroughly in future now let me go into the battery settings let's put the phone to silent and while i'm in it let me show you the volume panel settings here is how the volume panel settings looks like pretty dope we can control the media volume call volume ring volume alarm and stuff then if you tap see more we will get into the sound settings and this is how it is there is no me audio direct or something but don't expect it right away let me go back and that is how you go back like me why yeah it looks like and battery percentage we have over here in the battery settings let's see this is how the battery full usage will look like let me go back again and if you want to have the like if you just hold it up like this you will have the recent apps panel and i would say the rom already feels pretty smooth and it should be pretty good for daily driving right now let's enable this dark theme and see if it works yeah the dark theme does work let me disable it night light yeah the night light does work too you can control the intensity of it from here though i feel it's a little bit lighter now we have the auto rotate screen option of, of course then we have font size display size screen saver then lock screen display and stuff then from here you can set the lock screen like privacy options from here let me go back and double tap to wake is there let me see if double tap to like wake is actually working yeah the double tap to wake does work and in the lock screen again you will see this lock icon over here if you have seen my redmi note 5 pro video maybe you have seen that but here let me show you the animation after unlocking so as you can see looks pretty dope the only bummer i would say is that like there is no double tap to sleep and stuff as of right now as this is a pixel experience build not a pixel experience plus so don't expect any accent colors or like double tap to sleep anywhere or those kind of customizations you won't find those like as of right now maybe we should wait a little bit more and we will get like more and more customizable custom roms based on android 10 in future but as of right now i'm just glad that we have this pixel experience rom for this redmi note 7 pro so in the lock screen again one more feature that i like is that like from the lock screen itself you can toggle your google assistant over here as you can see what's the weather like So Google Assistant does work even from the lock screen like you don't even need to unlock your phone to access Google Assistant. So that is a really great feature I would say. Let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed one more time. So
So I would say the Fimit scanner speed is pretty livable and it's pretty fast I would say when compared to the other ROMs. And let's quickly check if the Vaulty calling is working. So as you can see, I have the Geo SIM over here. Yes, Vaulty calling is working as you can see. So that is great. Yeah, there is no Vaulty icon, but I'm fine with it as of right now. And it does show the temperature of your weather on the lock screen. And this unlocking animation just never gets old. And also we have this Android Pie kind of rotation thing over here. Whenever you rotate, this button appears on the screen and it does work quite well. So I think this is a pretty great option for you if you want to try Android 10 early on your Redmi Note 7 Pro, you can do it right now. So that is a really good thing. Huge thumbs up to the developers. Give this video a thumbs up again if you like this video and if you like what I do here. And subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet and if you want more and more awesome contents like this. And again, I thank all of you for watching this video. And this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one with a review of this Android 10 ROM on this device.